as I go through life, my thought process changes. So I'm going to share with you something I consider and I wish I had considered many years ago when I started out buying vehicles. But I won't leave you hanging. I will put a lot of information below this video in the description. I'll give you some ideas and go into more details about what I'm about to talk about. So you can add some video links to my other videos to help show you some ideas. So before you buy your next vehicle, consider this. Consider the average person, most people, I'm Throwing rocks in a glass house is the way I used to be myself. You would take your money, you go to work, and work for your money. And then you would go find something when you wanted a new vehicle. For whatever reason you wanted a new vehicle, you went to get another vehicle, and you sit down either by yourself or with your spouse, and you decided, hey, this is how much I can afford for a payment. And for some reason you think you can afford that much for a payment, and the salesman, of course, is going to say you can afford it for a payment. Or if you save up your money, pay cash for it. For those that pay cash for a car, it doesn't really matter. The points are going to be the same. So the money you go pay for the car, whether it be a payment or cash, if you would consider this, take that amount and that vehicle and find something cheaper in price and say your payment was going to be $700 a month. I'm just using this number so I'm throwing out. Say your payment was going to be $700 a month. And instead of taking and buying a vehicle where your payments are $700 a month, try to find something where the payments are cheaper. It may only be $500 a month or whatever or half of that, a $350. Or if you go pay cash for a vehicle and you go go pay cash for a $30,000 vehicle, maybe you can go find one for $20,000. My point being is they miss a crucial step to keep them from getting rich. Instead, they look rich and they're not rich. So do you want to look rich or do you want to be rich? So. If you like to have your money later, consider this. Buy a cheaper vehicle and take that extra money to go spend on that vehicle and buy assets at the same time. So it would look like this. You go to a job, you take that money, you, you split that money up and you put some in some assets and then some into the vehicle. Instead of going and buying a vehicle with the maximum amount you think you can afford, whether it's paying cash for it or payment, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's the same thing. But you can take some of that money, pull it back, and buy assets with it. Now what asset, assets am I referring to? Go to the description and I'll go into detail. But think about this. If you buy safe, good, quality assets, or do some changes, that money that you buy those assets with and continue to put into that money assets, that money over time will grow. The money you put into that car, your payments will keep going up, or your payment will be the same, whatever, but the amount you agree on with interest you go pay for that car even if you buy a zero interest car it doesn't matter they still added the money in you're not getting a deal okay so you're still bought the car they're making money and that amount of money you owe you paying on that car is here the value of that car keeps on dropping and depreciating so you bought to a vehicle that you need to get to work you need to get to school you need to pay to get your kids to somewhere you need to go to the doctor we all pretty much need a vehicle for the most part I understand that and I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just giving you an idea here. So instead of buying the most expensive car you think you can afford, buying assets without money grows. Your car will keep depreciating and keep needing maintenance and go down and down and down like value, but the money you pay for that car is still here. The money you pay for an asset is here and the money goes up. So in return, you're paying yourself first by buying assets. You're paying your future self more importantly. So as you get older, that money's growing and you learn that habit and you'll see that money grow and then later you'll be able to afford a lot nicer things instead of buying really nice things or what you think is nice at the time and the value keeps going down. You keep doing that over every so many years. You buy another vehicle trying to look rich and not be rich and that money keeps going down, going down, going down. You're just killing yourself financially over time. But if you pull back on some of that money, put it in assets, and that money grows, then your future self is going to be really happy. And again, I'm going to leave it at that, but there's a lot of information I will put below the video in some more detail.